What's going on, Survivor family? Jeff Bros, Mark Burnett, Jesse Tenenbaum, Cass and Team, whoever watches this video. My name is Marco Smith. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Hot Springs, Mississippi. But I came, but I currently live in Memphis, Tennessee. And okay, I, th I thought I heard some gunshots or tires screeching or something. But we go, but we good, we good. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to choose me to be the next old Survivor because you're looking at a guy who was at the Martin Luther King speech when he was six. Who people wanted to skip a grade when I was in Head Start, and my mom didn't want that because she didn't want me growing up too fast. A person who draw who was drawn over two thousand of his own Pokemon in the past eight years. A person who kicked ass and showed people with and showed people their form in a karate tournament some years ago, and who's been valedictorian in, in middle school, Kirby Middle, high school, Grad Academy in Memphis, and Russ College. Yeah. You think you think that I'd be proud, but I don't really care because Russ College was not the college that I wanted to go to. Like I like, I'm a big I'm a big I'm a nerd I'm a nerd I'm a blurred black nerd. So I want I've always been interested in art, video games, cartoons, things of that nature. My mom taught me how to draw at a very young age, so that's something that I always, I always wanted to do. I grew up watching SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, all those kinds of shows. Ed and Eddie, Group of Billy and Mandy. Those kind of shows all inspired me to try to make my own stuff. Like, get got me more into art. Like, I always pause the TV, and it actually hurt. And watching those shows actually helped me learn. That's the like, I can actually attribute cartoon watching cartoons to help me got uh, do better in school because I always watch with subtitles on, and the subtitles would show the words that they would use and everything, and I would use those words even though they were too advanced for me at the time, and that's what helped me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, subtitles for the win. Subtitles for the win. But yeah, like I said, art has been a major part of my life. I always wanted to do the cartoons and stuff. So I, I've been doing, I did cartoons and comics and things like that. I drawn over a thousand of my own Pokemon. Like I said, I'm a nerd. Got the, got the Pikachu shirt on and I got the Pokemon cards and I got all the Pokemon cards right here. I got a lot of my Pokemon cards right here. This is just half of them. They're worth a lot. But I think sure I'm pretty sure they worked a lot by this time because we know the scalpers are still pretty rampant right now, both for PS5s and Pokemon cards, and it's fucking sad. But that's why that's how it goes. Speaking of video games, here's my PS2. This was my main source of entertainment when I was living in Hot Springs, Mississippi, and and yeah, pretty much. Uh, some places we didn't really have cable, and other places the power, the electricity wouldn't work well. It was just we didn't have cable for the most part. So uh, I would just use this. I collected a lot of movies and played a lot of games. So I, like I had a big stack. And me and my granddad would like play mainly Ratchet and Clank and Crash and stuff. So yeah, um, it's, it's just been a lot because me and my mom have been through so much. Like she got sick, she got sick, she got sick a lot. And I was sick a lot cause I, I had asthma. Let's like, let's, let's go over my injuries. I've had asthma. I've had shingles because, she, like, okay, I'm going to go into this. My, my biological dad wasn't always in my life. Stereotypical for a black guy. Woo-hoo. And so, and so she married, she ended up marrying a, a dude named Reggie who kept on fucking with her, fucking with our emotions for a long, for over, a, for about a decade. Kept on kicking us out, bringing us back in and all this other stuff. We kept on having to move. Like we went from Holly Springs to Memphis to South Haven to Olive Branch to Memphis again. Like it just kept on going around and around. And now right now we're back in Memphis, Tennessee. So and we're we're in a good location because she got a new guy who's great. She got a new guy who's great. So <clears throat> yeah, the douche, the douchebag the douchebag's mom ended up giving me shingles. I ended up rolling over on my ankle because I ended up wearing my shoes the wrong. I ended up wearing my shoes the wrong way and I ended up slipping. He didn't really give a damn about that. Uh, he he would kept on he kept on yelling at me and belittling me, acting like I was lazy because oh my god he doesn't take out the trash even though I do everything else that they say to do he only focuses on that. It's just he don't think he cared about what my what my what my achievements. He didn't care about anything else. <laughs> and his family were just only cared when I did stuff for them for the most part. And they they would only talk about my achievements and not me as a person and stuff like that. It just felt I was just I wasn't really liked for me. I was just liked for my accomplishments. That's pretty much what it boils down to. And I got fucking I I fucking sick and tired of it. Looking back is just fucking annoying. 
So I just want to show that, show me. I want to show me. Hell, during my school years, early on I got bullied a lot because I kept on saying I didn't like girls even though I wasn't gay. Like, I said that I didn't like girls because I was bitter at a girl who <clears throat> who dumped me because of another dude. And I said I didn't like girls, which wasn't was not which is not true. And I just did I, that just meant I didn't want another girlfriend right now. Right now I'm still singing and looking, so. <laughs> but because of that, that just, people people kept on trying to people kept on interpreting that as me being gay, and they kept using that to bully me because you know how that is. And when I was and I had to start in middle school, I had to start changing my personality so that I wouldn't get as bullied, wouldn't, wouldn't get bullied a lot. So I just went from being open and like outgoing. Like for instance, I tried out for a basketball team despite being, despite sucking ass at basketball. I went there, I went to one thing and never went back. At least I tried it. But now I'm more, I'm, I was more reserved and less open to talk because we kept on, we kept on moving. I didn't know if we were going to move anymore. I just didn't really want to deal with any more bullshit and I just got tired of everything. Hell, I would get I would get in trouble for talking and stuff like that back then. So I was like, all right, fuck, I ain't finna talk no more then. Is that, if it's just gonna get me in trouble and yell that. So yeah, that's just been my personality since middle school. <clears throat> yep. But I'm, 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 I'm kind of more open now since after I got, I got out of college, I've been more open and stuff since I've, I have more friends to kind of break me out of my shell. So that's stuff. So that, that's, that's good for me. And then that, that's pretty much why I want to, I'm trying to do, I'm actually trying more new things now, like this. I want to show what I'm capable of. Like, most people only knew me as the quiet black nerd, like I just said. So I want to show them that this black nerd can actually kick ass. And I'm from I'm from Memphis. Black, a lot of people down here don't give a damn about Survivor. Or no Survivor at all, probably. So, unless, like, a lot, at least not a lot of black folks. So, having me... A black guy from Memphis on there, it, it it could actually give more people an opportunity to to see that oh she oh she is that oh it's like that I can do that too, like I want to be able to show people that it doesn't matter. I want to be able to do it do this. I want to show what I'm capable of. Aside from my academics, since that's all that people seem to care about. Oh, you got a twenty eight on your ACT. Oh, you smart as hell. Oh, you developed a tool. Oh, this, that, and the other. Like <clears throat> like yes, those are parts of me. But that's not all, all I am, and it's it's kind of hard for some folks to get that. I just feel like there's more to me than meets the eye, and I need to be able to show that. So that's why I want to be on Survivor, and I think I'll be able to outweigh outplay and outlast ease because, like I said before, me and my mom, we we've been sick a lot. We were able to accomplish a lot, and we were able to. We're now in a good setting. Hell, I got I had COVID last year, and I got over it. I got vaccinated recently, so I'm good. I'm good. And outwit and I play. I'm good at puzzles. I'm good at mind games. I can I can think of things really quickly. It's just easy. It, it all that stuff comes easy for me. If it would, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have all these accomplishments. I wouldn't. So I'm I'm, I'm asking. I'm begging. Well, <clears throat> I just I want this opportunity. Please give me the chance. And I'll I'll see you on the beach. And I'll, I'll be waiting. I'll just I'll see you on the beach if it happens. And I'll be waiting for the call. So thank you for the opportunity and I'll see you.